What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video we are going over one of my favorite in-game weapons, and that is the Anti-Armor Explosive Handmade. I'm also going to be showing you the full health commando build that goes along with it, but before we get to the video, make sure you smash that like button, the way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. And now over in the mods, this is the Anti-Armor Explosive Handmade we're going to be using, and it does have a third star on it, which is the faster movement speed while aiming. Not the best perk, but it will definitely work. Now this weapon does have a ton of mods, 47 to be exact, but the mods I'm using is the Prime Automatic Receiver to get the most amount of damage out of this gun, Aligned Long Barrel, Forceful Stock, Quick Magazine, and the reason I have these three is because they all help with my AP. Then we have Reflex Sight Circle. I would have a scope on this, but I'm not sniping. I'm up close and personal, so I definitely want either the circle or the dot. Then we have the suppressor on it, just in case we want to get that sneak damage. And the cool thing about the handmade that I love more than the fixer is how many paints we have with this gun. Now you may not have all these, but we do have a ton of paints for the handmade. So, makes it one of my top tier weapons to be using as a commando build. It's either this or the fixer, guys. But, yeah, these are all the mods for the weapon. Now, let's get into the demonstrations. And starting off our demonstrations, we're at the White Springs Golf Club, and that is because there is a ton of squishy ghouls over here, and I want to test my lovely anti-armor gun on them. But the build we're going to be using is our full health commando build. This is a non-sneaking one, so we have dodgy, gunfu, action boy. This is more or less if you want to run in gun and survive in the mix. But yeah, take a picture of the build if you'd like. And now, let's get into the demonstrations. Now, as I said, we're not sneaking, so we're not going to be taking the quiet. Put your hands up! Put your hands... We're not being quiet whatsoever. Red Roach! You get out of here, man. This ain't your territory. Now we're going to attack them without being in vats to see how well we do with the damage on that. And, look, they're not even doing that much damage to me. Let's see. What are they dying from? Oh my gosh, they're just, they're passing out right next to me. Poor guys. Anyways. Poor, poor guys. Hello? Did I not wake you up with my loudness? 192 all the way around and again this is a non-sneaking build so we're getting a mass amount of damage without sneaking which i love because then we have all that survivability over there in our health come on ghouls you want some i'll give it to you i'll give it to you all uh oh uh oh not bad not bad at all now let's move on to the super mutants and now we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center because we got a lot of roided out super mutants over here. But let's see if they're as squishy as the ghouls. And so far, so yes. So yes, they are. That is insane damage, guys. And now, again, we have survivability. Maybe not that much because we don't have serendipity and all that stuff whenever you are a bloody build. But all in all, it's still, still surviving pretty darn well in my opinion. Sirs, would y'all like to hit me? Yes. Give me your lovely shots. And I do have first aid at two, so if I do stim pack, it does give me a lot more. But let's let's take out these guys, you know? They're picking on me, man. Quit picking on me! Hey, quit picking on me! You and your buddies jumping me for no reason. You wonder why I come over here and mess with y'all in the first place? It's because every time I come over here, I'm alone, and y'all just want to pick on me? Well... Not today, not with the anti-armor explosive handmade. Where are you at? And again, the anti-armor is what I prefer running as a full health build, but you can run as a TSE, a two-shot explosive, junkies, vampires, whatever you want. Again, I personally choose the anti-armor build. Now, let's move on to Super Mutant Behemoth. And now we've made our way to Solomon's Pond, a little bit south of it. And that is because this is where the Super Mutant Behemoth Larry nests. And Larry has been a bad super mutant, so we're going to take him out. First, let us Larry, we're over here. Do you see us, Larry? We don't want to catch you off guard. That'd be a rude thing to do. I'm over here, man. Hey, how's it going? Bird here, and, uh, well, now Larry is running. Oh, oh. Larry's not running. Larry's coming right at us. Let's see how well we can take a hit from Larry. Uh, Larry just jumped over me, guys. Not bad. That's the damage we are looking for. Ooh, that was a pretty hard one. Let's go, let's get rid of Larry before he does that again. Yeah, you do not want to get hit by Larry. Let's just say that right now. But all in all, we ripped right through him. Now, let's move on to a flying target. And now we're in the Cranberry Bog, close to Fisher Sight Prime, and we are going to go wake up this Scorch Beast over here and see if we can't take him out before he takes flight. Oh, Scorch Beast. 
I uh, know there he is. I knew it. I knew it. Boom. And as you can see, this gun is just tearing right through him, guys. Look at that. Ooh. That is absolutely insane. Now let's test it out on the Queen Buck herself, the Myler Queen. And now we're at Spruce Knob Lake, a little bit south from Foundation, but this is where the Queen Bug lies. As you can see, she just comes out of the ground just like that, and this one's a level 100, so yeah. Let's just lay into her. Not bad. How about the spouts? Spouts. The spouts where they get the most damage, or is it the head? I think I was getting more damage in the head. I think I was getting more damage in the head. Bring it on, queen! We're getting 61 damage all the way around when I hit it in its critical spots. Get off of me, bug. Get off of me. Let's see if we can tank some damage from her real quick. Oh, yeah. Not bad. She's a good hitter, I'll tell her that much. You are a good... Okay, you stabbed me. That's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're okay. Okay. And this bug is um, very vicious, but I'm more vicious. Come on, you Myler Queen. Boom. And just like that, the Myler Queen is no more, peeps. Until you come down to Spruce and Oblake and come mess with it, then it's going to be coming out of the ground. But, all in all, this is my anti-armor explosive handmade. I definitely recommend you getting your hands on one of them. And also, this build is very unique and very strong, guys, so make sure to check it out. But if you enjoyed the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more Fault 76 content. And guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.